Welcome to the first ever Fog of War. I'm Kelly, the Community Manager, and this series is designed to give you information leading up to the launch of Dawn of War 3. This could be at events, behind the scenes, interviews with devs, or answering your community questions. We want your feedback as to what you would like to see in these videos, so make sure you make a comment down in the section below and subscribe so you're up to date along the way. Wir sind auf der Gamescom, wo ihr das erste Mal Dawn of War 3 spielen könnt. Wir sind auf der Gamescom für unsere erste Mal Hands-on at Dawn of War 3. Ich habe es wirklich geliebt. Es ist ein großer strategischer Spiel. Die Grafik und ein uh, gutes Gameplay, wie like der erste Dawn of War. Es war großartig. Oh, it's great. Yeah. I'm looking really forward to buy this. <laughs> How do you feel about people finally getting a chance to, I guess, have hands-on of Dawn of War 3? It's awesome. It's, it's so exciting to see everybody play. I mean, it was really fun at E3, letting the press play it, but now, like, the general public and all these wonderful people are lining up for us. It's incredible. Yeah, it's so energizing. How do you think people are faring as they're coming out? I think oh, there's a lot of smiles. I've seen some people jumping for joy. Uh, uh, lots of good tweets. Uh, so yeah, I think it's, I think it's, people are really digging it. Uh, we must have the most excited fans on the planet. I've seen some phenomenal maneuvers, like great uses of whirlwinds and 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 Solaria's Iron Storm. So it's, yeah, it's been pretty cool. Now we head over to PAX to see how the North American audience fed. North American hands-on event at Dawn of War 3. Let's see how you guys fared in the stands. That was, am I allowed to swear? Can I say bad things? No? Okay, that was amazing. <laughs> I love how it brought back, I love that classic feeling of Dawn of War 1. There's a lot going on at the same time, everything is rushing, everything is just mayhem. It's so nostalgic and it looks great. The armies are big, you just get right in the fight super fast. And it really reminded me of the original Dawn of War, which I love and, and still love to this day. So it's so cool to see that tradition, you know. All the sound effects, all the like the guns, the plasma guns, the flamers, the bolters, everything, things crashing down, it feels so visceral, I guess. The sound effects and all the VFX are just very on point with this game. Needs more wah. <laughs> Definitely. I wasn't feeling the wah. I feel like there could have been more wah. Every unit you build, uh, it feels like it has a very specific use. It feels like it has a purpose and it feels strong, kind of no matter what you're building and what approach you take. I want to see a million dead orcs and maybe 10 to 15 dead space marines, and I'm going to call that an even fight. I didn't have a single time to think, what the hell, like, what shortcut should I be pressing? I had no time to think about that. I was just, holy crap, there's so much happening at the same time. There's explosions. There's an Imperial Knight. That's amazing. It's the first time I think they've been in one of these games and just overall experience as a Warhammer fan. Great. Close combat units uh, definitely have their purpose and they're great in this, but I love the range units and having those two big Gatling guns just hose people down and the rockets, oh, it was it was real fun. It, and I'm, they feel like they're elite units. You call them in and they make a difference on the map for sure. They're absolute game changers. So that was our first Fog of War. Make sure you comment in the section below what you liked about the video and what you would like to see in future episodes. Subscribe for updates and until next time, see ya!